Um, you mentioned uh, a Richard Comey. I know you're obviously not looking past Nakatani, but you did get a chance to go to his fight. And um, assuming you are victorious, uh, that's who you're going to be fighting for your first world title. So what was that experience like to actually be? I mean, you knew or you do know ahead of time, hey, if I win my next fight, I'm going to be in the ring with that guy right there. So was was that a different experience to be ringside and, and watching that fight? Or I mean, I I know you actually watched it as opposed to the the other guy that you went to go see and, and you were on your phone the whole time. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, man. Uh, you know, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. I really was out there to promote my fight as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't. I could care less about Richard Comey and Ray Beltran. Mm -hmm. You know what? None of that matters actually, and none of that did matter until we get our job done July nineteenth. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm looking at, and um, I was just there, you know, with the fans, uh, interacting with the fans, giving back to everybody. Uh, in any way possible, um, taking pictures, interacting, talking to them, all those things, and promoting the fight uh, to tune in. And just being there and seeing that and going up to, in the ring with him, with Bob Aaron, we took a picture and everything. Mm -hmm. I know Comey, he's a good guy and everything, you know, but business is business. I'm fighting for the IBF World Title Eliminator. That makes me your mandatory next, mm -hmm. you know. So I'm pretty sure he'll probably be there in Maryland, mm -hmm. in D.C., you know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure he might be there in D.C. And then be like, we're going to make this fight happen. You know, I hope he is, you mm -hmm. know, so we can make this fight happen. You know, and um, so everything right now is just in the works. And I was excited. You know, it was good to be out there. I spoke with Ray Beltran. Ray Beltran is a humbled, humbled, humbled and true warrior at what he does. Mm -hmm. And he is, is he is going to go down in the books <clears throat> as a legend. Mm. Not only a legend, but a Hall of Famer, a future Hall of Famer. Mm. And this guy has, uh, he has paved the way for sure. So, you know, he talked to me. He gave me a lot of great advice. Uh, he gave me his side of what he felt. And he told me I am the next future in the sport of boxing. Wow. Just to always keep myself uh, straight, always keep myself uh, focused on what I need to do. And to always be aware and be careful of who's around you. And he told me that as long as I have those tools and making sure all those things, I'm. He says that I don't have no limit that that I could reach uh, stardom and on top of that. So Damn, that's you know, it was and just hearing that from him and it means it meant a lot. Yeah. And we were talking for a good second, you know, um, in that ring while they were interviewing Richard Coleman. And everything. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. This man, the man just got done fighting <laughs> the guy, and he's. He's letting you know, like, yeah, huh, you got this. <laughs> right. That's you what's know, up. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, and me and Beltran, like, I'm good. Yo, honestly, like, a lot of people think, you know, um, you know, don't be, don't be even friendly with the guy that you're going to fight. But, mm. you know, like, sometimes you know and sometimes you don't, you know, but you, you still don't want to give him, like, if they give you that side of, that, that side of respect, you mm -hmm. give it to them back. That's how I work. If you give me a look, I'm going to give you a look. Mm -hmm. And it's like, like Floyd said uh, in one of his things, if you say fuck you, I'm saying fuck you. <laughs> right? if, you don't, if you don't like me, I don't like you. <laughs> True. You know? Yeah. Don't yeah. don't uh, don't disrespect if you don't want to get disrespected. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. Did that? But I'm, that, I mean, that had to motivate you more for your fight coming up after seeing that, after being in the ring, after knowing. All right, like. I mean, you were, I mean, how close were you to that title while you were in the ring? I mean, were you, were, like, did you eyeball that title? Like, yeah, that's mine right there. Uh, yeah, you know, I look at it, I'm just like, this is, we're close. Mm -hmm. We're, after this, we're one fight, you know, mm -hmm. from, from changing everything. And I'm not going to lie, it is fucking hard. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking about the training and everything. I'm talking about everything around the negativity all that stuff whatever you want to call it but all that negativity is so hard because it wants to bring you down because you're so close from changing from turning your dream into reality mm -hmm. you know what i mean so things are just going to come at you uh the negative stuff are going to come at you and try to break you down and you just gotta fight through it and and the only way i fight through it is just having faith in god mm -hmm. and i just and i focus on that and i'm like uh, and I try to, my, my, my main quote that I use, and it's from the best, 
and that's from Bruce Lee. And be like water, my friend. Mm, mm-hmm. And and what it means is just adapt to any situation, any anything. You know, just adapt to everything and just be calm and cool and collective. Don't think about so many things because that's how you crash. Yeah. You know, and it's things like that. So I just try to just focus on my path, mm-hmm. and that's what I do.